Sometimes I get asked about my status as a Catholic priest. I have been a Catholic priest now for almost 34 years. My, my anniversary comes up next month. I have been a Catholic priest in good standing all my priestly life. Some people claim that I'm suspended. Recently, I was talking to my good friend John Salsa, who is a lawyer who came and spoke at our conference. And he was asked by some Monsignor in his diocese about Father Gruner. His reply was very simple and short and to the point. If anyone asks you, what do you think of Father Gruner? Here's what he said. Father, who signed the decree that Father Gruner suspended? What crime is alleged that Father Gruner has committed? And what is the date of this decree? The law of the church reads very simply that no one, not a layperson, not a priest, not anyone, can be hit with an ecclesiastical penalty if they've never committed a crime against the law of the church. Since there is no crime, there has been no suspension. But it goes further. There is no decree that says I'm suspended. But this rumor, this, this, uh, these lies against me have been circulating for years because they would rather say that and believe that about me than look at the truth I'm trying to talk about. The Blessed Virgin Mary has given a very simple message. It is a very simple message that anyone can understand. We have proven over and over and over again that, number one, the consecration of Russia has not been done. And if you believe the message of Our Lady of Fatima, which we should and, and must, then we must also believe that we're all in danger because her request has not been fulfilled. But it's easier to believe that some priest is suspended, even though there's no proof, no crime, nothing behind the accusation. But I understand these lies go around. But you have to expect this when you're promoting the message of Our Lady of Fatima. The devil knows that when her requests are fulfilled, that his kingdom on earth is over. So you have to expect to have this opposition. If they can't attack the message, they attack the messenger. In this case, they attack me. They won't attack the Blessed Virgin Mary, at least not openly. But they attack me. But I'm not the only one saying these things, but they make out as if I'm the only one pointing out that the consecration is not done, the third secret is not released. I urge you to watch the various speakers on our Fatima Challenge, and you can tell many other people know the consecration is not done. Many other people know the third secret is not released. Focus on that, but don't be discouraged by the lies they tell about me. They might tell them about you one day, but don't worry about it. Our Lord says, rejoice and be glad when they say bad things about you for my name's sake, because your reward in heaven is great. Rejoice and be glad. Don't be discouraged. God bless you.